Today we're heading to Burl Wilkes Skate Park, one that no Texan that I know has actually been to, even though it's in the middle of the DFW area. It's very weird, very mysterious, and there's only two photos online of the park. Anyways, we've arrived at the skate park. just learned that yesterday. Why is this park strange, you ask? Well, some of it should be pretty apparent, but it's how skinny the park is, which props to them for fitting this in a small area, but the quarter pipe section looks nice. The ledge is like this weird angle iron that kind of sticks out a bit, not the best kind, but it's pretty cool. The rail on top, I feel like might be a fun thing, depending on how the ramp actually launches you. It doesn't feel very defined in a good way where the top of it is like obvious, so it looks like you kind of have to get used to it. The little curb ledge and the flat rail do look perfect and the embankment on the side seems like a really cool thing if that's what you're into. I'm excited to try to get into it, but definitely the weirdest part of all is the other side of this quarter pipe where they have these stairs that lead up to really nothing. It's strange, but cool. Let's skate it. Okay, uh, I'm genuinely feeling this park. I like it, I think it's good. There's a little bit of cracks here and there when you try to skate the ledges. And the rail, it's a little awkward because there's a bench to the right, and I genuinely feel like if I did any tricks where I land on the right side of the rail, I'd probably run straight into the bench. Uh, this little wall right thing is a little difficult to skate, even though the curb grind thing is, uh, it's perfect. But the quarter pipe is also pretty good. It's a little like, janky it's a bit of a quick transition still feels good still feels nice but it definitely compared to uh the normal quarter pipe it's a bit steeper like a bit like eh. does that make sense i think the coolest obstacle here and the one that i would like to try to skate more right now is this one right here the little bump to rail combination this whole setup is cool but I, I i especially like the bump to rail thing because i don't usually get to skate things like this so let's try to do 10 tricks a little challenge <laughs> Does it rain in Texas like this? It's usually the windiest place in the world, but not rainy, but let's try to wait for it to dry up a bit. Day two. Okay, it's actually dry today and I'm back to see what I want to skate. I kind of got to rewarm up, which sucks, and I got to figure out what I want to hit up. But let me rate these, I think seven obstacles from one to seven, best to worst. This is number seven. Obviously I'm biased. I'm not super into obstacles like this, but the speed is kind of strange up to it. I like pumping on it, but if I can't do many tricks, I'm probably not having that much fun. Number six is this bank, but to be fair, it's not really used as an obstacle mostly. It's mostly, 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 mostly used to uh, get speed for the rest of the skate park. This might be a shocker, but number five is this flat rail, just because I hate the way that it lands into the other bench. And it does, it, it just feels distracting because it's in such a skinny platform. Now the rest of the obstacles I actually like. So there's this curb, I would say it's number four because it's just a little curb with metal, but I have a lot of fun on it. And I might actually end up skating this a lot to try to experiment with some new tricks and figure out some new things I can take to ledges. Number three is this flat ledge because there's kind of a lot of cracks besides that. Perfect height, perfect grind, everything's great about it. But these little cracks really make it distracting. Number two, huge surprise, this quarter pipe. I'm not much of a transition skater, but it's smooth and it's nice and it's in the pocket and it's low and you can just it's good. And no surprise here, my favorite obstacle is this bump to rail because it's the only thing in the park that's actually different than what you see in a lot of skate parks. I really like it. I think it's great and I actually think it's safer than it seems, but it does have this fear element of kind of if you try like a front blunt but you don't get into it, you could step onto the ledge, which is very sketchy, but you get that like thrill while simultaneously just having a lot of fun. So session number two, let's try to get another one. I don't know what challenges I want to try yet, but uh, I mean, just doing anything right now would be good since it's uh, the next morning and I have to rewarm up.
So I think there's a uh, sermon happening across the street. You think that's what that is? We might end up skating like one or two more things. Uh, the ramp station was fun. It's cool actually doing back to backs with someone because Kendo can pretty much do like any trick that I do. We do very similar tricks, especially like switch tray flips, even though I didn't do that back to back for some reason. But like double flip, switch, I know dude. Blew it. I blew it. But the fakey flip 50, I think that was the first one he's ever done. And he just saw me doing it and was like, I want to learn that. And he did it like, well, it kind of took a long time, <laughs> but you got really close every try. And then I learned the fakey Vero heel 50, which is a very, I feel very fulfilled. I've been wanting to learn that for a long time, maybe on a real ledge one day. Um, but yeah, we might see one, one or two more things. I think Kendall is going to battle a switch tray flip 50-50 on the curb like I did the tray flip 50 earlier. Uh, so that's going to be sick and I might try to battle something with him just because, you know, I don't want him to struggle alone. Brutal, but you had it. Oh. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh my god. Oh my God. insane. I am so red because I've been skateboarding so much, but I hope you enjoyed that video every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. For now, new videos on this channel, so tune in, and thank you so much for being here. Take care, progress daily, and keep killing it.